planet Earth. Also known as the Blue Marble, a term coined due to the fact that our tiny planet is mainly covered in one thing, and that is water. The oceans cover about 70% of our planet, and for centuries, people have been trying to work out how to navigate across it. Today, we are going to try and do exactly that. Today, we are going to attempt to hitchhike over the sea. If there is one thing that I've learned from my past videos, it is that you can never underestimate the kindness of strangers. So today, we are gonna be putting that theory to the test by trying to convince someone to take us somewhere on their boat. Trust me guys, you will wanna watch to the end of this video because it ended up taking a drastic turn which I could have never predicted. But first, we had to make a sign. This video is sponsored by Manual. Question is, what do I write? Take us to sea. Question mark, right? Yeah, question mark. Is that the other way right way around? Oh fuck, have I done it the wrong way around? Shit, I've done it the wrong way round. How have I done it the wrong way? We should have got a tip X, man. I'm, I think I'm gonna turn it into a stick, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is well embarrassing. Sales pitch mindset. I'm a salesman, I'm confident, I can do this. Yes, guys, how's it going? See, I'm working on confidence. That's a little challenge. Boss man, are you going on a trip by any chance? We're seeing if anyone wants to potentially let us hitch a ride on a boat. You just got back from a trip. Okay, no worries, man. Have a good day. Do you know what? Some positive people here. They're actually quite nice. Guys, you have a boat by any chance? Okay, have a good day. I'm getting used to the rejection. We're getting used to it, man. We're, we're learning. Whoa! Do you want a boat by any chance? <laughs> Is that your boat? No, yeah. Oh God, you had me though, you had me, I was excited. <laughs> Are you going on a trip today by any chance? Oh, you just came back? Okay, no worries, man. So after getting my first few tastes of rejection, it was time to increase our chances of success by moving to the main area of the marina. This looks promising. Look how many boats are right here. This looks promising. Do you want a boat, guys? No? All right, have a good day. Can we hitch a ride, boss? Yeah? No? No, it's a big no. All right, take an L. Literally anywhere. Oh. Anywhere it can be. Do you want a boat? <laughs> no? Okay, no worries, guys. We're trying to hitchhike the sea today. No? Yeah. All right, have a good day. That's a lot of potential. That is a lot of potential. <laughs> Yacht club. Someone in here has to own a boat. There's so many people here. Ah, oh, so many. So many people to talk to. I need to stop being a pussy on. Do you own a boat by any chance? No. Yeah. You don't? No, it's totally yeah. fair. We're doing a project where we're trying to see if it's possible to hitchhike over the sea. Yeah, what's good, man? <laughs> How's it going, bro? Nice to meet you. Yeah, no matter where to or whatever, we just want to see if it's possible. Are you... Okay, okay. I think you speak to our boss. You might see if we can do something. Oh, for real? Hey, man, how's it going? What's your name? Tom. Harry, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So today it's mega wavy. So okay, well, like choppy is too... Yes. Yeah, okay. If we were to drop you anywhere, the only place to drop you really out of here is the beach. <laughs> Willing to jump off a boat and swim to the beach, I mean, then we might be able to do something for you. Maybe. we got um, a lot of equipment now, that's the only uh, thing. Yeah. We're, we're just going to go around and keep asking people, I'm, 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 yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find something, but yeah. Fuck. I thought we were gonna get something then, I can't lie. One thing I did not take into account is that sailing is a weather dependent activity. And we also started pretty late, so most of the people were already coming home, which led to rejection. It's quite busy at the moment. <laughs> really? Okay, no worries guys, have a good day man. No, it's all good. After rejection. No worries man, no worries, have a good day guys. After rejection. No worries guys. <laughs> Cheers guys, have a good day. So I take pride in being quite an optimistic person, but after so many rejections, even for me, this challenge was proving very difficult. But regardless, one thing we don't do on this channel is give up, so we kept pushing on. We gotta manifest it. We will get to see. We will. Excuse me, are you going on a trip anytime soon? Okay, no worries, thank you. Excuse me. Where we're seeing if it's possible to hitchhike on the sea. Okay, no worries. It takes one yes. One yes. That's all we need. Maybe it might be better to go like early morning tomorrow when people are about to go on a trip. Are you potentially going on any trips within the next few days? No, like... but there is a way of doing it. You okay. To have a look at the internet. Yeah. Okay. Right. We can be crew. <laughs> we can do that. Okay. He said that there are people that do like biggest trips and they see if anyone wants to join them online. If it meant that I would get a free trip, I, I would like work on a boat for however long it took. My boat is not functioning. Ah, uh, really? I think many people will take it. You think so? But not today. Was yeah, we, d yeah we, we know today is very uh, tomorrow, choppy. Tomorrow the same stuff, uh, Damn. And he said he'd fully be down to take us, but his engine's broken at the moment. Today and tomorrow are like super choppy. 
We haven't picked the best days for it. Maybe do some extreme Googling tonight. And that is exactly what we did. We spent the night Googling websites like Find a Crew and Crew Seekers, but unfortunately, none of them had any people that were willing to go on a trip anytime soon or even from the UK. So we got a quick sleep and decided to set out on day two of finding someone willing to take us to sea. But before that, I have to take a quick second to thank today's sponsor, which is Manual. Manual is a British company dedicated to becoming the platform destination for men's health. They offer tailored and medically approved treatment for a variety of issues specific to men's health. Did you know that two out of three men will experience male pattern baldness by the age of 35? And once it's gone, it's pretty hard to get it back. So it's better to start now than never. Manual's treatments are clinically proven, research backed, and use the only medically approved treatment in the UK. Manual can help help you stop hair loss today and help improve growth. And they are currently trusted by over 100,000 male customers. They even have a 180 day money back guarantee. So it's pretty much risk free. You can use my discount code below for 50% off your first purchase and 10% off your second. Nine out of 10 men see positive results. Guys, check out the link in the description and thank you Manuel once again for sponsoring this video. How are you feeling this morning? Oh, oh. Well, I woke up and just realized I have to go speak to people today. <laughs> Uh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> no, I can. I don't know. But yeah, this, this challenge is hard. Day two, baby! Holy fuck, bro. That is not looking good, you know. Not exactly calm seas. I see about two boats out today. I just spoke to the captain of the uh, lifeguard ships and he said it's also known as working for passage. So I think we're gonna write that on the sign. We're gonna change the sign. New sign. We're yeah. trying to see if it's possible to hitchhike over the sea. <laughs> over the sea or, yeah. or over the channel? Anything, honestly, it doesn't really matter. To maybe anything. like work as a crew or give something in return. Today, no one's gonna be going out. Yeah, exactly. It's rough. It's bad, isn't it? Hitchhike over the sea. Yeah, man. Gonna do that? Well, if anyone's potentially wants some crew on a boat. I don't have a boat, but I have a, a floating home boat, so it doesn't oh, actually really? go out there. Oh, yeah. really? You never actually leave? Nah. nah. We're trying to see for a video project if it's possible to hitchhike over the sea. Okay, no worries. Thank you, man. Have a good day. Everyone's just like, it's not for me. It's not me. So again, we were experiencing terrible weather. The sea was choppy and it didn't look like anybody was going to be going out on the boats. <laughs> Still going, man. <laughs> Still on it. And then I met this guy who really didn't give me much more hope. Cool. Yeah, Bloody hell. He was a Tory. You hear what he said? Yeah, he was like, go to Dover, there's loads of bloody immigrants going over, you can get one of their dinghies. Fucking hell. I just feel like we've exhausted all of our options. So even though we were feeling quite low, if there's one thing I've learned about these adventures, it's that good things are always just around the corner. Yes, bro. You're on a boat by any chance? Yeah, yeah. You do? Oh, right, we're trying to hitchhike the sea for a video. Go along there, along, and along that side. Okay, 274, oh, you're a legend. Thank you, my man, have a good day. You gave me the code to the gate. He gave me the code to that, that one down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go try it. Not fucking bad. We got him. He just snuck in. Literally anywhere, it doesn't matter. Yeah, anywhere. <laughs> I know, I know, trust me. I mean, look, it doesn't have to be today. It doesn't have to be tomorrow even. Like, we're just trying to set something up. Okay, let me help you out. So after sneaking into the other jetty, we met some amazing people who offered to help us and also said we should make a sign to put in the notice board. So it was time to do a little bit of marketing. Clap. Liquid on my finger. Oh shit, yeah, we got paper. Solid. Solid. I just got a text from Harry, the guy we just met. We may have found you a match yet. Need to talk to the guy later. Keep you posted. Ooh, that is the strongest lead we've had so far. Let's pray to the sailing gods that this pulls through. Yeah, need to talk to the guy. So it's nothing confirmed. I'm not going to get hyped. I'm not going to get excited yet but they may have found us a match. So I didn't want to get my hopes up, but the text did seem like quite a good lead. And then we met Dave. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, sorry. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. Look, we don't want to cause any problems. Do We're just trying to um, do a cool adventure that I think could inspire other people to, to do some cool things. And that's the point of, of the films that we make, man. Dave kicked us out. Oh. We're having a little pint break. 
We've been doing this for about 24 hours now. We've got some solid leads, nothing 100%. So many people have taken my number and a lot of people said they're gonna speak to people that they know and possibly get us out on a boat. But yeah, two days in, we still haven't got on a boat yet, man. So even though we were getting some good leads in Brighton, we really weren't getting exactly what we needed. But I did have one more technique down my sleeve that I wanted to try. And that was actually hitchhiking literally from the ocean. I'm scared to go out in this. Look at it, it's treacherous. Oh my god. Yo! Yo! Big wave! <laughs> that did not work. So it's safe to say that plan did not work. And after two days of pure rejection, I sat there on the beach, cold and wet. The sea had destroyed our sign and we were starting to lose hope. So I guess it was time for a change of plan. Ah! <laughs> New day, new location, new sign. And today we are here in Portsmouth, as you can see by that lovely building. It is a very nice day today. It's actually boiling hot. There's barely any wind and the sea is not looking choppy. So I think today might be our day that we're actually gonna make this happen. I don't know, but there are a lot of boats going out. We've just got to convince one of them to let us on. This is day three now. I'm getting tired. I'm trying to get on the ocean. Let's do this. My heart's beating, why? Am I socially anxious? It's just a bit of a weird thing to ask people. Right, I'm gonna ask him, let's do it. Excuse me guys, we're doing a video project where we're trying to see if it's possible to hitchhike over the sea Ooh. for like an adventure. <laughs> Could you like point us in the right direction or? And how far are we looking to get? Honestly, it doesn't matter. Like if we get on the sea and we get decently-ish far to another place, then we'll be happy. If you'd have been here early, we could have helped. Really? No way! Ah, yeah. oh, mate! Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. See ya. So only five minutes in to getting to Portsmouth, people were already seeming way more inclined to help us. And that was when I met this woman. We're trying to see if it's possible to hitchhike the sea. <laughs> it doesn't have to be super far. It doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't have to be today. If it's on the coast, like, we are trying to get from point A to point B, but it doesn't matter where those yeah. point B is. So yourself. Me okay. Okay, we're we'll, on we'll the spot now. Okay. Our yachts in okay, okay. Literally, we're down for actually anything. Like, we're not coming back, so how are you going to get back? We'll get back, we'll work it out, honestly. We might be going to I Love White, maybe. It's a maybe. Oh, fuck off. Oh, my God. David? <laughs> Hi, David. How's it going? How's it going, guys? You're right. Ethan, how's it going, my man? Nice to meet you, bro. What's good? Hi, this is Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. When are you going to go to? We're literally setting up in the next half an hour. Really? And are we cool to, to come? Yes, Let's go! <laughs> done it. I think we've done it. Oh, Suzanne, honestly, we've been trying for like three days now. Yeah, we've been. We've... I can't take you anywhere else. That's like, absolutely fine, fine, honestly. Should we hop on? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it for real. Three days later, we are finally on an actual boat. <laughs> oh my god. Three days of pushing, and we've actually made it onto a boat. Not, not only a boat. We made it onto a yacht. There's nothing there for you to complicate. We're not aligned. You say you listen, I'm guessing that's just another sign. Now growing up, you're growing old. You let me pass in my eyes. Up now, if you never fall, you don't change at all. down on land. Appreciate it guys. Great to meet you. Suzanne, thank you so much for real. Thank you guys. We really appreciate it. Have a good trip. Sweet. Yes. Oh my God, bro. Look at the boat we just got off. 
Yes, it's possible. It's actually possible. You can hitchhike the seat. If you find the right people, if you persevere hard enough, you can get someone that's willing to let you go on a boat. Oh, we just got on a three quarters of a million pound yacht for free. That's mental. Apparently the kid's stepdad works for SpaceX as well. And he knows Elon. So yeah, makes sense they got a yacht. But oh my days, we bloody made it across the sea with zero money. Just pure kindness of strangers. Guys, once again, do not underestimate the kindness of strangers. Okay, now the question is, we've proven the concept. It is possible, but do we keep going? <laughs> I mean, she did say cows is like a big sailing thing right now. It's a week of sailors in cows. So by some pure coincidence, we had managed to get to the Isle of Wight during Cows Week. And if you don't know what Cows Week is, don't worry, neither did I. Cows Week is one of the biggest sailing events in the UK every single year, where teams of sailors compete and race against each other. So even though we had proven the concept that it is possible to hitchhike the sea, we thought, why not get over to Cows and see what we can do? Cows! Literally, we're in cows. We're following the music. We can hear music right now. Follow the tunes! I'm gonna get copyright claimed. This is gonna be generic music. Oh yeah. Hi. We're trying to get to that side. Uh, floating bridge goes across the river. Brilliant, thank you. We're in the land of Tories. They're gonna think I'm a schmuck. So I'm not gonna lie, Cow's Week had me a little bit intimidated. It was quite nerve wracking walking around with a sign like this around professional sailors. But then within literally 10 minutes, a sailboat team saw my sign and called me over. Hi, how's it going? Straight off the bat, we have zero sailing experience. <laughs> so this is the Tigress Racing Team. After a few minutes of speaking, they loved what I was trying to do and they said that they would potentially consider recruiting me to race with them tomorrow. Potentially, they said they're going to take half an hour to think about it. They are a sailing racing team. We're going to be helping way out the boat and not make it tip over. I don't know. I've no idea. They were really nice. They were great people. I think we connected. But yeah, bro, we just got to cows and we got a potential lead. <laughs> this might be the place to be. <laughs> Jesus. Nini crew guys trying to hitchhike the sea. I'm kind of like intimidated. I feel like I'm standing out here. Oh, we're deep in it, man. By some coincidence, we've ended up in cows during cows week and no idea. Right, I've just got a text. It's a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Harry, we are happy to have you aboard, but you must remember this is a dangerous sport. Come to the boat for 8.30am. 8 8 you must follow all instructions given by the skipper at all times during the race. Bro, I'm going on a sailing race. Ooh. <laughs> oh God. I somehow ended up being a, a sailing racer. Bro, I'm convinced, yeah? With a whiteboard and a marker, you can get around the world. And so, 8 a.m. sharp the next morning, I was prepped and ready with nothing but some motion sickness tablets and a dream. Sometimes you just gotta throw yourself into the deep end. Life throws you a curveball. If you have an opportunity to tick something off the list before you die, sometimes you gotta send it. And this is one of those things. I was ready to become a professional sailboat racer. Harry. Harry, Susan. Nice to meet you, nice Susan. To meet you. How's it going? You've done some extreme sports. Before. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. Stuff. So I've done parkour, free run. In. Just, I mean, to warn you, it is going to be pretty hectic out there today. Okay. okay. <laughs> We've gone from this to getting on one of these. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Certain people go to Ibiza and pop pills. We go to cows and pop quells. Oh, right. That should hopefully get me through. Hi, 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 hi. I'm ready to go. <laughs> We've got the war paint. How do I look? Okay. And we are off. Three, two, one. We're racing.
Aaron, how was it? Oh, mate. That was mental. It was wild. Was it it really was good? very intense. I can now take off that I've competed in a sail race in Cowsweek, one of the biggest races in the UK. Right. <laughs> That's so mental. There we go. Before this trip, I had never even been on a yacht or a sailboat. Now I can say I've hitchhiked a yacht and I've competed against Olympians in the cows sailing race. If anything, this video proves that with a whiteboard and a marker and enough perseverance, you can do pretty much anything. You can probably get around the world. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see them get even bigger and better, I've just released my brand new merch right now. The Chase Freedom Tees are out on my website. The link will be in the description. Use the discount code BOATFACE for 10% off. If you feel like Chasing Freedom resonates with you, then please support if you can. If you can't, it's absolutely fine. I love all of you. Just drop a like, drop a comment. Also, shout out again to Tigress Racing for allowing us on their boat. Peace out, guys. See you soon.